Welcome to Composite Products LLC and our video of using stay bond contact cement to bond phylon to a camper. A local DIYer had built this teardrop camper and wanted to install phylon over the top. The first step was preparation of all the surfaces, cleaning up the edges, sanding the roof, cleaning it, and making sure that the surface was as smooth as possible. Next, we rough cut the phylon to fit the roof. We then temporarily installed the phylon over the roof and made any final adjustments to the shape and the fit of the material. Next, we washed the phylon surface with an automotive wax and grease remover, sanded it with 220 grit sandpaper, and washed it again. We divided the roof into four sections and taped off the sections on both the camper and the phylon leaving one section exposed for gluing. This is how it looks after applying the first section of glue. Before spraying, we clamped the fiberglass into place using index marks that we had created to give us the location and position of the section. We then began spray applying the Stabon T440. We continued coating both surfaces, the wood and the phylon, until we had an even marbled finish. Then we let it set for about 15 minutes to be dry to the touch, then remove the tape to create the bonding edges. We removed one clamp and then we were able to roll the phylon over the surface and the glued edges began to make contact. Using our hands, we helped press the phylon into the contact cement with even pressure, smoothing it as we went. Once the phylon was in place, we used the hand roller to further compress the materials, making sure there were no voids or air bubbles. Once the first section was glued down, we began spraying the next section. We used the same process using our hands to press the materials together, followed by thorough rolling. When that section was completed, we moved towards the rear to do the third section, again using the spray gun to apply the adhesive in even coats. As you'll notice, that adequate personal protection equipment is in place. I typically apply the contact cement to the phylon first because that takes the longest to dry, the phylon being impervious and the material sits on it. The wood seems to absorb some of the cement and the solvents and sometimes takes a second coat on the wood to give a proper level of, of coverage. Once the cement has been sprayed on, we let it dry to the touch and then we remove the tape and begin the same process of rolling the file on over the curve using our hands to press it into place, followed by rolling. Moving to the last section, we apply the cement just as we have before and repeat the same process. The phylon comes from the factory with a plastic sheeting bonded to the outside surface. This protects the phylon finish from overspray or damage. When the job is complete, the plastic skin can be peeled off. Thank you for watching our video, Composite Products LLC. For more information on these products, reach out to us at www.dlamrepair.com or www.rvroofandwall.com.